No. They said it threw up a uh, Car Hunt Riot video for this TVR event. I've been like holding down the time more and more. Um, it's a really, really cool Car Hunt Riot just for the fact of this car does not handle like almost anything else in the game. It's got no nitro ability, horrific acceleration, and yeah, like really, really bad handling. So you have to drive this one so, so conservatively. I kind of love it. <laughs> and yeah, I've been doing this uh, riot a few times other than farming that unleashed event. I'm going to throw up a video to that as well. I'll put a dedicated link to that one at the end of the video. If this is one of my first videos you're watching, by the way, please do consider giving the channel a subscribe. If you can avoid drifting in this car altogether, you will do yourself the world of good. Because it just does not handle it at all. And steering. If you can avoid steering. As weird as that sounds, but like really, really light, light, light taps all the time on the analog stick. Like it's just a case of like left, 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 but only tapping it. Never hold a direction on this one unless you absolutely need to. Again, no drift here whatsoever. And just nitro up the hill. But like just nitroing in a perfect straight line. Nothing fancy with this. Like as it seems counterintuitive in this game. But on this one. You're going to need to go a wide angle around here as much as possible. Like, do not lose speed on that one if you can. It just takes a really light cornering. Nip across the grass here with just a regular boost to keep it at that 210 speed. And like, as much as this seems as conservative as all heck, again here, you have to line the car up so you're on the right hand side and then really, really just like tapping left the whole time. But do not hold left because you will just like shave off that time. And again, just like, yeah, completely the most conservative driving you will do in this game. Every trick you do with this car will just punish you because it's not designed for those. Just try and line yourself up again. So go right here as you're coming down and then point towards the ramp. So like any time that you do have to make a harsh turn, just try and give yourself enough area to do a wide swing around it. Now all the time here, just like left tapping, accelerator tapping, just like alternate between left accelerator, left accelerator, left accelerator the whole time. And there's going to be a tiny drift here because you need to with the last turn. 57. Yay! <laughs> uh, like, that car is so weird, but I really enjoy racing it. I, it's just one of those ones where it's an absolute beast. Like, a D-Class car having a 210 mile an hour top speed. But again, like you see, it's just straight as possible here. Even on this corner, like, do not drift at the base of this one. If you drift on that, you'll see that the speed shaves away. And... Going up a hill, especially in this car, like if you just drive up that hill without drifting at the end, just using the nitro, like, yeah, absolutely, like you'll do way, way better. And again, here going right to the edge and just like try and turning as little as possible. But yeah, just keep the car like as stable and as smooth. And again, pick up the nitro and just to go across that little patch of grass, just in a straight line. And like, it is just such a different car to most of the stuff in this game. Just because so many of the other cars will... Um, 63! Cool. That's definitely me sorted for the top 5. Like, um, yeah, this is one where the car is just a dream to drive. Like, um, yeah. I just enjoy like cars like that in this game. Woo! That's the oil owl, ah, VB, Marcelo, and Joe Chanchi. Those times are so tight, like even five thousandths of a second faster to catch up with the owl, no pay to win. I agree with that sentiment completely. There you go. But yeah, uh, I can't stress this enough with this car. Because of the combination of not having any handling and not having 
anything in the nitro ability like this car's nitro is just worthless <laughs> like even when you are in a nitro state just watch your speedometer and see the fact that like it doesn't increase the car speed it's just yeah it flashes of nitro but yeah there really is nothing to it and if you put a car into a drift normally in this game it's like you drift with the car and then you get to like use that drift mechanic to like boost out of the corners but with this car it just doesn't work because like yeah they it's nitro is worthless so even the small amount of nitro that you do get when you drift around the corner like you just it doesn't pay off ever so yeah just like give it a shot the car has got a seven minute refuel time and it costs just two tickets to do it but give it a try uh, if you've been racing around this and having like frustration kind of thing of going like how do you make this car go fast uh yeah the way you do it is just by being incredibly incredibly conservative so um yeah like just i i really enjoy this one because like it doesn't fit in like the other cars do in asphalt it is just one of those ones that's completely like just weird <laughs> but um yeah i said i'd do a car hunt ride video on it because yeah my one is golded but at the same time like these challenges are pretty awesome for racers with filled out garages as well just to kind of battle it out at the top and see how people can compete against each other uh, obviously those rewards are cooler for people who don't have the car golded but there's only so many events that people can do and yeah currently i've got the unleashed pretty much farmed out and yeah, it's going to be the same with the Viper ACR. Like, that's a car hunt that I can do, but that car is maxed out. So, uh, yeah, these leaderboard challenges are, and the weekly club are pretty much all that, like, uh, people who have their car just filled out are kind of limited down to. Um, hopefully, though, some going to get some tips from this one and get some epic import parts for what I think is a really awesome car. If you are putting the parts into this one, like, Nitro is just not worth it even to think about it installing. So, if you are caught for where you to put your epic import parts on it, just put them into the top speed realistically because, like, uh, that's the best stat kind of for it, or else the acceleration because you're just relying on the car's own acceleration. But really with this one you have to just kind of get the car to the top speed and just try and keep it at the 210 as much as possible but i'm gonna stop waffling uh sub button up there over my head i really appreciate any clicks on that guys if it's your first time joining the channel or if you just haven't clicked it before i really appreciate that i cover all the events in asphalt do indie games which the playlist is over there and uh, there's a random video over here from youtube that uh, the channel thinks it's useful for you. It's probably asphalt related. But uh, yeah, drive safe and good luck in this car hunt.